new markup import and assist. Yes. So basically, uh, this new feature, this is a brand new feature that um, AutoCAD 2023 is introducing. So let me uh, go over. And for that, I'm going to go and I'm going to go to layout. So, but let me go first to another drawing that I can, that it can be more appropriate. I'm going to go to this drawing. Um, so here, what I'm going to do, of course, I'm in paper space. And this new feature, you will find it over here on the collaborate tab. So once you are in the collaborate tab, we can go and we can see the new markup import feature for AutoCAD 2023. So we can access it by simply clicking, clicking on it. And let me give you a brief explanation about this new feature. This is basically, you can import PDFs, images as PNG, JPEG, and so on. Um, with written markups uh, that you or somebody else did about this specific drawing and import them, overlay them, and simply apply those changes. There is now even a more automa automatic way to apply those annotations or markups that I'm going to show you right now. So let me go over and for this, I'm going to import, of course, um, elevation with markups that I already have over here. So I'm going to click and as you can see, the file types that you can use are, you know, all of these, but also PDFs. So once I do that and click open, AutoCAD is doing its thing. Um, sometimes AutoCAD will do its best to, you know, match the size of these markups to your current drawing. But right now we can see that it is not doing it correctly. So we can fix that uh, by picking the align option. So once we click the align option, uh, you can simply follow in the instructions on the command line that says a specify first source point. I'm going to click this over here and then specify uh, the other source point. So I'm going to click over here like so. Now it's asking for the second source point. So I'm going to pick here once and then finally over here like so. So at this point, scale object based on alignment. Yes, of course. So once I click yes, AutoCAD is automatically scaling these markups and I'll simply click accept. So here in this new environment, basically what this new feature is also going to help you is to automate the addition of these notes or markups by recognizing automatically. So if I um, click over here on this uh, edit trace so I can click on it. And once I do that, AutoCAD is trying its best to recognize those annotations. And as you can see, I, I wrote here the word erased. Um, so AutoCAD highlight that in these dashes. And if I hover over, you, you're going to see this icon, this new icon. And if you click on it, you can see that you can insert this as a multiliter or also as a M text. So I'm going to insert it right now for this example as a multiliter. So if I click that option, uh, you can see that, um, you know, it's asking to select the first and then the second. So let me do it again. So if I click over, I can insert it as a multiliter or as an M text again. So whether you pick one or the other one, you will automatically insert your piece of information like so, all right? So you could also insert it as a revision cloud. If you go over here and you hover over this, you could also insert it as a rep cloud, as you can see it. So 
Of course, at this point, whenever you um, are feel like you're done, you can simply accept that, closing the trace option by using that, and you will see the revision cloud and whatever you added to this a new drawing. So that's the new feature for the new markup, import, and assist in AutoCAD 2023. So let's keep moving to the next one.